Hey everyone, it's Michaela here, and I'm here with Sean and Jessica Davenport, who are in their second term of being small group leaders, and we're just going to talk a little bit about what small group has meant to them. All right, so we kind of talked about this already, but how long have you guys been coming to Thrive? About a year and a half. A year and a half? It'll be two years in September. Wow, that's awesome. Can you remember your first Sunday? Yeah. Yeah? Tom Rondell was speaking. That's awesome. <laughs> we missed Dr. Tom? Yeah. I love that. So what were your experiences, if you had any, with small groups before coming to Thrive? Uh, before coming to Thrive, I think the closest thing to a small group we ever did was Bible school when I was a kid, but like I'd never seen anything like it before. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. What do you love about your small group? All the people. Yeah. Our first meeting, you know, you had to feel each other out, get to know everybody, and kind of just we sh opened up and shared a little bit. And I already had uh, a connection with one of the people in our small group I went to high school with. So it was really cool. It was like our reconnect. And uh, it, uh, it was just a unique moment where we all like shared and explained things that were going on in our life. And uh, it was really cool just getting to know each other again. That's awesome. I love that. So in what ways have you seen God move in your small group? I'd say lots of ways. Like... I mean, we've had, it was like every week that somebody had some kind of trivial story and something that was going on in their life, and um, we all had great experiences and, and ways that God showed up that we weren't expecting, you know what I mean? Like, that unexpected, like, we talked about how we pray for things, and, and you know, maybe God didn't answer our prayer the way we wanted, but instead the way that it was His way, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. And we went through a lot of experiences like that, like Trenda, uh, you know, uh, Zach, and, and Nicole. Nicole. Asking God for money, and yeah. he gave her exactly how much she needed. The exact amount. It exact was amount. so weird, like, and how it showed up in increments, and just yeah. it was a creepy, okay, eerie so, story. I said, but we all Tell keep each more. other in like prayer too, so yeah, which is always good. So you have somebody else like backing you up, guys. Right. It's amazing. Tell me more about the Nicole story then. She 